In this video, we're going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison on how the restaurant chatbot demo works. First, let's press the button get started. And from here, you will notice that we will enter the restaurant demo and we will get the welcome message along with the first three options to choose from. As you can see here, we have a make reservation, a few menu and an order and pickup system. Each will go to their individual flows. So first let's go and make a reservation. So if we go towards this flow, you will notice that we'll head over towards this section. Sure, let me take your reservation right now. And then we can select a date and time from the date and time picker. If we do so, let's open up the link. We can pick any kind of date that we like to. So let's pick Tuesday, August the 30th and then choose 7 p.m. Let's confirm this. And then we will get a confirmation to confirm your preferred date is this reservation date and time. If we agree, then we can go and continue. Then we will be asked how many guests that need to be included in this reservation. So let's go with just three. Then we'll get a three second typing and then we will get a confirmation overview. To confirm your reservation, date and time will be Tuesday, August 30th at 7 p.m. And the number of guests will be three. We can then either confirm the reservation and close off this reservation flow, or we can also change the reservation itself. If we say change reservation, we will be able to select either the date and time or the number of guests that we want to basically change. Depending on the choice, we'll go to each individual block. So let's say we are going with the date and time. Then we are going to select the date and time again. So instead of August 30th, let's go with the 28th and let's change the date to the time to 9 p.m. The system will now also check again for the reservation time and date. If it's correct, we can press yes it is. Then we will check if the reservation guests already have a value. If so, we'll go directly towards the confirmation message. And the confirmation message will now be with the adjusted date and time and the number of guests. So let's say we are going to confirm the reservation and from here, we'll get a closing message. If we want to go back towards the main menu, we can just type in menu. And then we will go back towards the section of the three choices. Let's go and say we want to view the menu in advance, which is a great way to be able to let ordering inside of a restaurant continue much faster since we already know the menu. Let's press view menu and let's go to look at the flow. From here, we can choose the appetizers, the main courses, the desserts or the drinks. If we choose for few appetizers, you will see that it will go towards a Google Sheets integration to fetch all the appetizers from a Google Sheet. The way this works is as following. As you can see here, this is the connected Google Sheets and we are going to search for the type called appetizers. And if we do so, you will notice that we have four main appetizers, sorry, five main appetizers. So if we scroll through all the available ones, you will see we have soup of the day, we have garlic bread, we have the chunky chips, we have the onion rings, and we have the hummus. And the same works for every single other one. So if we go with few main courses, you will see that we will only get these available main courses. So we have the chili beef burger, we have the New York style steak sandwich, we have the Caesar salmon sandwich, and so on. If we go with drinks, you will see it will happen exactly the same way. So we'll only get to see these four drinks. If we go back towards the main menu, we can also implement an order and pickup system. So if we head back, if we do so, let's choose the order and pickup. 
you will notice that we will go towards the order menu. From here, we will be able to select all the topics that are available. So the main menu, the desserts, the drinks, etc. So let's go with the main menu. And as you can see, we will then go towards the function flow for main menu. So if we open the subflow, you will see that we have a product gallery card that will display all the available products. If we say, for example, we want to have this pizza pepperoni added towards the card, then we can open up a web view to select the size. So let's say add to cart, let's go with large add to cart, and then we will go towards the next question inside the chatbot itself. How many would you like to add? We're going to add four of these pizzas. Some calculations will be done in the back end and the product will be added. And as you can see, pepperoni, pizza pepperoni times four has been added towards the cart. We can continue towards the shopping. We can go to show the cart itself, or we can go towards the checkout. If we say go to show cart, we will come towards this overview. You will see all your available items inside of a gallery card. You will see how much it costs and how many that you added. In this case, we only have one pizza pepperoni. We can also remove it from cart if we need to. We will see the total items. In this case, four pizzas with a subtotal of $55.96. And then we will also see the order total. We can then press to confirm the order. We can either continue to order and this will get us back towards the order system or we can also cancel the order entirely. If we say confirm order, we will be able to mark the items as the card as paid and then we will get this order message. We are starting the order now and will be ready within the next 30 minutes to take out. Payment will be cash on delivery in the amount of $55.96. When picking up your order, please mention your order ID, which will be generated by the chatbot. And in this case, it will be 10942. Then we also have a next step, and this is to assign the order towards a specific agent, to enable a live chat, and then also to send a live chat notification towards this live chat agent to prepare the order. If we press the drop down on my phone, you will see that we have a order notification coming in inside the mobile app. So as you can see, this is a fantastic way to implement chatbots for restaurants, to implement complete order and pickup systems or order and delivery systems to view the menu and ensure that your restaurant is fully booked at all times by implementing a reservation flow.